Over the last few years, startups have emerged with promises of a future where product designs can begin with mere words. In 2025, text-to-CAD technology is advancing rapidly, and it's gaining significant attention in the design and manufacturing sectors. The technology uses artificial intelligence to convert natural language into three-dimensional models to kickstart the product design process. While still in its nascent era, the integration of AI into CAD workflows is expected to evolve quickly. As the technology matures, it could disrupt virtually every industry as adoption of CAD tools continues to grow. Let's take a closer look at the technologies that seek to turn anyone into a 3D designer. John, we're going to show you a man actually talking to a computer in a way far different than it's ever been possible to do before. Surely not with his voice. No, he's going to be talking graphically. He's going to be drawing. Computer-aided design emerged in the 1960s as a way to accelerate production for the defense and aerospace industries. Pre-CAD, designers and engineers drafted blueprints and design concepts with pencil and paper. They relied on tools like rulers, compasses, and protractors to create precise drawings. The process was time-consuming and slow. Mistakes often required restarting from scratch, and sharing designs meant physically sending large drawings. Ivan Sutherland introduced Sketchpad as one of the first graphical software systems in 1963. By the early 70s, General Motors developed its own CAD system for automotive design. The dimensions that appear on a mechanical drawing on our system are described analytically as well. Any dimension on this drawing can be selected with a data tablet, altered by a calculator keyboard, such as you see down here, so that there is an absolute minimum of typing. I simply push this button and what the machine is doing is through solving a set of simultaneous equations, you see the result that's immediately. Really, that's really fantastic. Adoption really surged starting in the 1980s when tools like AutoCAD and SolidWorks became available on personal computers. Today, the global CAD market is valued at more than $10 billion and is expected to nearly double by 2030. One of the text to CAD tools getting the most attention in 2025 is by California-based startup Zoo.dev. Zoo's text to CAD solution is available on a freemium basis. Users get 40 free minutes per month. Additional usage is billed at 50 cents per minute. The AI-driven CAD design tool uses machine learning to interpret prompts and generate editable 3D files. The outputs can be imported into popular platforms like SolidWorks, Autodesk Fusion 360, FreeCAD, Onshape, and Blender. For now, the tool works best with single objects, not complicated groupings of parts. Formerly known as KittyCAD, Zoo was founded in 2021 and is headquartered in Los Angeles. Its backers include Sequoia Capital, Venrex, and GitHub's co-founders. Zoo's suite of hardware design tools also includes a modeling app for editing CAD visually and with code, Diff Viewer, a browser extension that tracks changes and visualizes edits directly on GitHub, and a Blender add-on. With API access, users can develop their own design workflows and applications. A new startup, Catalyst Labs, also offers a tool that generates designs from text prompts. Compared to Zoo's text-to-CAD tool, Catalyst 3D Design Assistant is more focused on parametric 3D modeling for engineers. Catalyst says its open-source copilot for hardware design generates models ready for manufacturing. The tool creates designs that automatically update and adjust when parameters like dimensions and angles are modified. The company just recently unveiled the tool, saying more information will be available shortly. Welcome to Leo, your gateway to innovation. Meanwhile, Massachusetts-based startup Leo AI offers what it calls the world's first engineering design co-pilot. The AI system offers answers to technical questions about material properties, thermal treatments, formulas, and code. The answers are from more than a million trusted engineering books, standards, and data sheets. Today, users can generate visual concepts and technical sheets of product ideas with text prompts. 
The startup says functionality that transforms natural language into custom editable CAD parts will be available soon. Leo can also find parts that are needed for a design based on data from product lifecycle management systems or authorized vendor databases. A tool available for free called CAD Scribe is focused on generating simple geometric shapes like plates, gears, and basic components. CAD Scribe boasts quick generation times, with most models produced within seconds. Platforms like Autodesk Fusion 360 and SolidWorks allow users to script designs. However, this requires expertise in programming and a solid understanding of the software scripting environment. Unlike text to CAD, generative design relies on constraint-based inputs with user-defined size, shape, weight, strength, and environmental factors like temperature and pressure. In recent years, there's been a push toward making generative design tools even more user-friendly, shifting toward natural language processing. Centric Software, whose PLM platform is popular in the fashion industry, offers an AI-driven tool for generating design ideas that are on trend. The California-based company says its AI fashion inspiration tool kickstarts creativity and product development. The tool generates an endless array of on-trend design ideas. The AI is trained on more than a billion images from the last 10 plus years categorized into more than 800 product types and tagged with over 1,000 design attributes. The model is trained in near real time. More than 1,000 retailers are scanned daily so the tool can respond to current trends. Centric, which is owned by Dasso Systems, says the tool generates unique design ideas without violating copyright laws. Unlike the others, the tool is geared toward generating ideas and concepts rather than detailed CAD models. In 2024, researchers from Germany and India teamed up to develop what they called the first AI framework for generating parametric models from text prompts. In their paper, they introduced a two-stage data annotation pipeline and architecture that transforms natural language instructions into sequential CAD models. They said the framework outperformed existing baseline models, but said refinements are needed to handle more complex and varied text descriptions. While it's still in its early stages, the potential for widespread adoption of AI-driven 3D modeling is significant. As technology improves and integrates with advanced manufacturing workflows, text to cad could democratize access to design across industries. Do you think text to cad will take off in 2025? Let me know in the comments.